Hello friends. Imagine for a second, the universe as an intricate tapestry woven with threads so delicate, so intertwined, that each one plays an essential part in the vast cosmos magnificent design. These threads, they're not just a figment of imagination, they could be the very fabric of everything. Now what if I told you that understanding these threads could unlock the deepest secrets of the universe? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a journey through the elegant universe. As we venture into this philosophical landscape, consider for a moment the night sky. It's not just a canvas dotted with shimmering stars. No, it's a puzzle that scientists have been trying to solve since the dawn of time. Now they say there might just be a piece so fundamental, so far-reaching, that it's like finding the golden thread in a royal tapestry. This thread is so thin, so fundamental, that you could spend a lifetime just trying to catch a glimpse of it. What is the very essence of the universe? That's the question folks have been pondering over for centuries. The stars, the planets, even the empty space between, what if they all boiled down to one singular concept, so revolutionary that it makes the divide between the large and the microscopic blur into one coherent picture? Well, fellow seekers of wisdom, prepare to delve into a realm where this question isn't just a speculative musing, but the heart of an entire scientific thesis. String theory. Within this enigma lies an idea so bold that it defies the traditional boundaries of physics. String theory purports that all particles are not just point-like dots, but tiny, vibrating strings. Each harmonizes at a different frequency, singing the song of matter and forces. Now, if you find this hard to picture, think of the strings on a guitar. When plucked, each one resonates, creates a note, harmonizing to produce music. In a similar way, the universe's fundamental particles dance to the invisible rhythm of string theory. Brian Greene, the maestro of this cosmic symphony, describes string theory as a framework in which the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional strings. Greene, who has been playing a key role in bringing the enigmatic concepts of theoretical physics to the public, aims to blend Einstein's theories with quantum mechanics. His vision? To find a single, all-encompassing, elegant equation, a symphony of the cosmos, if you will. Green's not the only one entranced by the music of the spheres. Legends like Albert Einstein spent his final years chasing after a theory of everything, a single theory that would unite all of physics. String theory emerges as a contender, a possible bridge between the unfathomable vastness of general relativity and the mind-boggling minute quantum realm. However, as novel as string theory is, the idea that the universe is made up of fundamental, indivisible units is ancient. The Greek philosopher Democritus hypothesized that the world was made up of atoms, or uncuttable pieces. We see throughout history this persistent quest for the fundamental. From Democritus to Einstein and now Green, it's a philosophical thread that connects the past with the present. While we marvel at these concepts, the ethical implications resonate strongly. Consider the Manhattan Project. The exploration of quantum physics led to the atomic bomb, a testament to the profound consequences of theoretical insights manifesting in reality. String theory, if proven, could lead to technologies unfathomable to modern science, and with them, ethical dilemmas we must anticipate. Reflecting on culture, we see these themes echoed in works like Contact by Carl Sagan, where the vastness of the universe begs for a point of convergence, a string that connects everything. Music, too, carries the soul of string theory. Composers weave melodies and harmonies, much like strings vibrating through space-time. In terms of current debates, string theory stands at the frontier, confronting questions about the very nature of reality. Some argue that without empirical evidence, should we indulge in such a theory? Others hold that string theory is the best lead we have in a centuries-old quest. 
Now, why is all this important? Because it embodies our relentless search for meaning beyond the observable, for the symphony behind the cacophony, the theory behind the obvious. It's a call to think big, ponder deeply, and dream audaciously about the future implications of understanding the core puzzle of existence. In tying everything together, we ventured from the stars to the strings, heeded wise voices, past and present, considered its historical significance and ethical dimensions, and seen cultural reflections. We've debated its place in contemporary science and underscored its profound relevance. And so I thank you, dear friends, for coming along on this guided expedition across the universe within a grain of string. As you step back into your daily lives, I leave you with questions to ponder. How does the idea of a universe built on tiny vibrating strings change your perspective on the cosmos? Does thinking about the grand scale of existence affect the way you see your place within it? With that, I'll bid you farewell. May your own journey through this elegant universe continue to be one of awe and inspired curiosity. After all, aren't we all, in our own way, searching for the strings that tie it all together? Keep looking up, keep questioning, and know that sometimes the answers to life's greatest mysteries are woven into the fabric of the cosmos, just waiting to be unraveled. Thank you for your time, and remember, the universe is not just stranger than we suppose. It might just be stranger than we can suppose. <laughs>